coach, uh, very weird, different time in the world, and athletics is no exception to that. So can you kind of just talk about how uh, all of this pandemic uh, news and spread has affected your team? Well, I mean, kids are kids are crushed. Um, you know, the, I don't know what other word to use. Um, you know, we're grateful for NCAA with eligibility waivers and, and extensions, things like that. Um, as far as what shape that takes, there's just a lot of unanswered questions right now. Um, so we just have to wait for that information to, you know, come out from the league and NCAA in terms of you know details and what it's going to look like uh, going forward. But uh, you know, right now, I think the it stings um, as the kids uh, felt really good about where we were, um, and really having a great season together. And so it's tough to see that come to an end. It's kind of dizzying, you know, quite honestly, just uh, trying to make sense of things. You know, we always preach control what you can control. And, and I think the next next step is, you know, is, uh, you know try to get better on their own, um, take care of one another, right? just relish the, the relationships that they have with one another love of the game so that's kind of where we are right now we're treading water a little bit and obviously trying to take care of business in the classroom and, and finish out and make the best of the, the semester and the opportunities we have in front of us without having your girls in the facility what are kind of your your day-to-day -day plans right now in preparing for the game? <laughs> uh well right now you know the basically is a you know, recruiting ban you know, until uh, april 15th so nothing you know, we can't do unofficial official visits can't get on the road and recruit so again, for us, trying to control the controllables and, and get better as a program, and I think uh, right now just kind of going back to school and you know, um, looking at you know, pitching mechanics and trying to just learn more about the game, um, take care of our kids as best we can you know, in the context of, of what we're dealt with here. Um, you know, as far as, you know, again, like everyone else, you're kind of waiting to see what shape the semester is going to take in terms of in-class face-to-face instruction, online instruction, things of that nature. It's uh, really just you know treading water a little bit right now, so, uh, <laughs> looking for things to do. I think is part of it. So. You mentioned uh, the NCAA and the, the waivers to redshirt for some of those upperclassmen, the seniors especially, and obviously still early in the process. But do you see uh, some of your seniors and and more experienced players taking advantage of that? Right. Um, it's it's a great question. Yeah. The one thing I, I didn't want to put pressure on kids to make a decision. I think right now. You know, first and most important thing is just make sure everyone's you know safe and healthy and get a chance to, to be with with family. Um, so a lot of our kids, there are a couple of them are still in town. Um, many are on the road. Uh, many went home last week. You know, so I've had a couple preliminary conversations with with seniors, and obviously it's not just seniors. Underclassmen also you know, will have an you know, opportunity for extension. Uh, I think the SW has you know extended that. And that and that's a good thing. Um, they're trying to, you know, offer kids a season that's in some ways been taken away. And, uh, it's a very individual decision. I think there, there's no right or wrong. Um, you know, some kids I think are you know, ready to move on. You know, and, and do um, postgraduate things. And uh, you know, and others I think would would love the chance to get that year back and keep competing. And, and it's very much an individual thing. Um, I'm not asking for. We're looking for answers right now. I think this week is more about, you know, probing to see what questions they have, and you know, then going to, um, you know, our compliance uh, officers and others, and just try to find out how we can best, you know, pass on information that they need right now to make informed decisions. But uh, yeah, so really, it's been more, you know, kind of wait, wait for information and pass it on this week instead of uh, you know, drawing you know, immediate decisions. So. That said, um, you know, I anticipate you know one or two, um, maybe three seniors coming back and playing. Um, obviously, all of them would, would have our blessings to do so. Again, we want to take care of them and, and um, you know offer them the best experience we can, and that, that doesn't change. So. Does that do those seniors coming back? Will that have any impact on recruiting in the future and how many athletes you can carry and whatnot? Yeah, not really. Um, I think you know, we're in the same boat as everyone else in conference. It's you know, it, our, our roster is going to be a little bit bigger. Um, that, you know, it, it, we don't want that to affect our incoming kids at all, and it won't. Um, trying to formulate kind of recruiting plans going forward, you know, we'll, we'll adjust um, you know, in terms of what we're looking for in, in later classes. But uh, I don't think we're going to have a, a massive um, you know, group of kids extending. But you, know, you never know. So right now it's 
like I said, I'm not looking for firm answers from anyone. It's more about just start that, that communication process until we really get the details of what that might look like. Um, you know, what are the eligibility requirements in terms of classes? Um, how does financial aid work? There are a lot of things that are still yet unanswered, so it's really premature to you know, sort of pin anyone down. And so in terms of what we want to make sure the kids know that we'll do what we can for them uh, to extend their career if they would like to. And then as far as the implications for recruiting, I just have to kind of find out you know, who's coming back and then what the implications are down the road, just map that out as best I can. So it'll be a little while.